Welcome to another edition of Mock Stars. Today we have a beautiful piece that is currently listed on Lego Kuso. However, it currently only has 1,173 votes, which after you see this video of this, that's going to change a little bit. Now, it's by a guy named Jason. No, not me. And it's a labyrinth. A Lego, custom Lego, marble maze. And it is fantastic. Even includes a top, standard top. You can remove that top and then put one on that's space related. Remove that. And then another one that is, which is my favorite, medieval related. Now, we're going to show it to you. His username on Lego Kuso is Toothame, but his name is Jason. He's going to show you and introduce this build to you, and it is, well, you're going to love it. And as Polaris the Random has commented on his YouTube video, appropriately says, shut up and take my money. I would agree with that. Take a look. Hey everyone, Jason here. Today I'm going to show you this ball maze, also commonly known as a labyrinth, which I designed and built entirely out of Lego pieces. So first of all, it's got this uh, built-in container to store the balls, which are a couple of Lego soccer balls and uh, basketball. It also has this travel lock, which keeps the maze from moving while in transit. So with that removed, you can see how you can control the tilt of the maze using these two wheels. Most versions of this game have holes in the maze surface that the balls drop through. But for ease of construction, keep everything a little simpler. I just have these indents on the maze surface that the ball can drop into, which is what you want to avoid. I also designed it so that the maze can be completely removed and that way you can have multiple mazes, which I'll show you. But while this one's out, I'll show you the interior, which is basically just a simple set of Technic axles and beams to control the tilting. So here's another maze I built. This one's a space-themed maze. It's a little more wide open. And basically you start at your rover and your goal is to make it back to your spaceship. Whoa. Passing a couple of outposts on the way. And there we go. I also designed this medieval maze, medieval theme, complete with fire breathing dragon. And the goal of this one is to start in your village, and make it to the safety of the castle before being torched by the dragon. Castle Mill. oh, I got drowned in the stream. It's not going to work out for me. Anyway, put this guy back in. Anyway, that's all there is to it, basically. Put the travel lock back on. Put the container back in. And you're all good to go. If you want any more information or to see pictures, you can check out the description. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.